Hello everyone, today um, I'm giving a new case scenario uh, based on one of my previous videos, some multiple sheets with different cells. So again, it's a macro for beginner um, uh, video. So as a uh, recap, this is the spreadsheet that we used for that previous video. So we have multiple spreadsheets in similar uh, format with different data. And then we uh, developed a macro code that can basically sum all the um, one of the columns uh, to make it sum and then we can have it uh, total uh, in one, basically just one click. And uh, this is a code that we developed for that purpose. And then basically you just run it and then you can do all the sums regardless of how many tabs you have in just one click. So that is a pretty cool um, tool uh, for everyone. Um, and then I got a question, um, I got a question here asking that, well, how would you repeat this process in the same macro to some multiple columns? Uh, because the previous video where we had uh, was focusing on the rows rather than summing all the rows, not uh, the columns. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do the same thing, but summing all the columns um, that has different columns in different spreadsheets. Um, so this is a data set we have. I only have three tabs here, but then essentially you can have as many tabs you want. So the case here is that you have a database um, and uh, um, it has different columns for different purposes. So for example, in, mass, in my scenario, I kind of made up the data, but then I'm saying that, well, for finance, um, I would have various components for uh, my compensation. I would have base pay, I would have transportation allowance, phone allowance, guaranteed cash over time, vacation allowance, short-term incentive. I just made up uh, the, the data for the demonstration purpose. And um, in this cell here, I basically want to know what is my compensation cost, which is essentially um, you need to you need to sum up all the numbers that you have in all those columns and all those rows. And basically that's a number that you need, right? Um, so that is for my finance. And then for my HR, um, just for, again, just for demonstration purpose, we decide that we will have base pay, transportation allowance, overtime, vacation allowance, and short-term incentives. So I have different numbers of columns, but then in my, in my total, I still want to sum up all my numbers uh, in those defined columns. And again, for my IT department, I decided the same. I have three components, um, but I want to sum all of them up and put them into this yellow cell there. So how do we do that? So let's look at the, our macro code. Um, and again, this macro code will be available in the description, so you can just copy and paste. Um, here, I just focusing, uh, I'm just gonna focus on what the code is telling you. Um, and uh, if you have any question, you can um, actually start with my previous video um, because it has more background. So in this one, I will actually just focus on the ones that's different. So here is our database and uh, here is our code. So this part I already explained in the previous video, so I will omit it here. So again, here um, we are having a loop uh, macro code. So I'm saying that for I for my worksheet, so from the first worksheet to the last number of my worksheet, then I want to sum I already named my range, and now I want my range to be the active spreadsheet range starting from um, the cell H6. So let's see what H6 is. So H6 is the cell. It's the first row of underneath the base pet salary. And why do we have it that way? So if we uh, look at different spreadsheets, although we have different lengths of, co um, of columns, H6 is always the first row underneath the base, base salary, and it is the starting point for the range that we want to sum. So this is a constant um, for all the ranges that we want to sum. And this is very important because then with this constant, then we can do the loop function for all the uh, tabs that we have. And then uh, it is also mandatory that we have this cell as the starting point for all the additional spreadsheet that we're gonna add. And then what I'm telling Excel is that, well, some 
the ranges starting from H6. Um, oh, sorry. Actually, this is the old one. So let me go to the new ones. So this is the old code. So let me look at the new one. Yeah. So in the new one, I'm starting with H6. And I'm telling Excel that, you know what? Go all the way down, which means that go all the way down to the last row. And then go all the way to the right, which is um, the last column. So this is ex uh, this is exactly telling Excel to go down and then go to the right. And then this is the sum that you have. So you can see here it's already um, summed in Excel. And then I'm telling Excel that well after you do that, sum all my range and then put it in range K3. So again, range K3, and then note that um, K3 is again the same regardless of which tab you have. And this is also required in order for this loop function to work. And then after you have done that for one tab and then go to the next until the end of the, uh, the, end of the loop. So yeah, so exactly, actually that's basically exactly what this code is saying. And then let's now run it and then see what it does for us. So you just run this up and then here we go. So in this tab, uh, it's basically just validating what we have calculated. So in the first tab, we have this number and then let's see if it is exactly the same number as we have. Yes, it is. So this is a number that we're looking for, for all the columns. Um, again, this is also, look at the number, the sum here, it's exactly the numbers that we're looking for. The same for the IT, and then you can tell that, um, yeah, it's all the numbers, and then they add up to the sum number, which is also the same as uh, the number that we calculated from this sum um, function. And uh, yeah, so, okay, so ho I'm hoping that this is helpful. Um, when you have a database not that has different columns. So um, this way with this code, you can easily just sum them up or do some analysis, even if they have different count of columns. Okay, so that is everything I wanna to cover today. I hope that you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.